All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TPL Gaming. Now, if you're here, I'm going to go out and assume that you know about the painted lines. Um, it's a little intersection of sports and culture where you know we, we've we've been on quite the journey for the last for the last year, um, and over that time, our YouTube page has been growing as well. Now, if you if you go on the YouTube page, you're going to mainly see um, you know NBA draft videos, TPL live videos, um, blue coats and 76ers highlight highlight reels, as well as 76ers interviews post game, which the great Jason Blevins does. Um, really does incredible work there, and a lot of the the stuff that he does, you know, pre and post game with the players and the coach, you can find on the YouTube here. Another section of the page, though, if you look at playlist, is culture, and that is um, Chris Diebler's little corner of TPL. If you don't follow Chris on Twitter yet, make sure you do, Mr. Crockpot. He does incredible work both with the culture page and the YouTube page. Um, which leads me to where we are now. A new playlist is going to be created on the TPL YouTube page called TPL Gaming. Um, you can see that there. We have a Twitch account. That's going to be that. That's my TPL Twitch account. We can certainly make a uh, a site wide Twitch and, and you know TPL Gaming. We're we're really just going to kick off and you know do let's plays and you know game reviews by playing and you know we'll, 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 we're starting off with the YouTube right now we're gonna do Twitch and YouTube together very soon um, but you know you're probably asking yourself what is the uh, you know what is the TPO gaming going to consist of and right now what it basically is is we're going to do I'm going to do um, let's plays of horror games for the month of October I figured it's only right it's the uh, it's at that time of year. It's seasonal, and we might as well we might as well get into it. If you're wondering what horror games we're going to play, it's it's still a little bit of a work in progress. I have Remothered, which is we're going to play right now. We're going to play and beat Remothered. We have Blair Witch. We're going to play and beat, and then these these other games can kind of so Soma, Amnesia, Alien Isolation, and Resident Evil Seven. I've beaten. Resident Evil 2 I've beaten, but there's DLC that we can do as well. Resident Evil, you have to beat it twice with two different characters. I've done it with one, but I can do it for, for another. If you're, if you're wondering why why I'm saying what I have and have not beaten, it's not to you know, like show off or anything. Basically, what I want is an authentic and organic experience with this. I want to you know, go into it with as much unknown as possible. So you know, while we do Remothered and Blair Witch... If there's any horror games on the Xbox or on console that you want to see us play, you know, let us know and I'll 100% play it. There's, you know, I'm a big fan of the genre, um, and I'll basically I'll, I'll play anything, anything that you guys want me to. Um, with that being said, though, you know, let's let's really dive into it. What we're going to play is Remothered Tormented Fathers. Now, I got a little synopsis here. Remothered Tormented Fathers is the pure and realistic survival horror video game. The game lets players take on the role of Rosemary Reed, a fascinating 35-year-old woman who reaches Richard Feltman's house in order to investigate the mysterious disappearance of a girl named Celeste. As she gets closer to the truth, she finds herself fighting for her life, face psychopaths and fanatics, and gets tangled in a web of lies where murder, murderers and obsessions come to life. So... You know, your, your typical run-of-the-mill, maybe horror story, from the synopsis of that, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, it has pretty, pretty solid reviews. It came out in January of 2018, so it's it's only, you know, it's not that old. Um, and I've never played it before, and I've heard, pretty, I've heard pretty incredible things. Now, one thing I like about it is that, like big Resident Evil fan, you know, I like the indoor setting, and it seems like this whole game takes place inside of a mansion, um, which, which I think really, you know, I'm pretty excited for. So yeah, this is a 
this is a Painted Lines production, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's fire up Remothered. I, I downloaded this game this morning. Haven't touched it yet. So everything that, you know we're going into, we're going into together. Also, if you're wondering why it's, it's a little dark in my room, I'm going for you know a spooky atmosphere, trying to trying to really lean into it. I feel like that's understandable. And with that, here we go. Also, the one thing I wanted to point out, the reason why this game jumped out at me when I was looking at horror games, is, is that's Jodie Foster. That's 100% Jodie Foster. There's... There's no way you can tell me it's not. Like, that is a spitting image of Jodie Foster, which I'm into, personally. You know, she's pretty up there in the bad ass chick rankings, I think, along with Sarah Connor and Ellen Ripley. That's basically just how, how I look at the situation. Um... But, yeah. Now, the only thing I know about this game, really, is that it, it's third person. Kind of like Resident Evil. It's in a mansion. Kind of like Resident Evil. What I don't know is if... So, like, in games like Outlast, you, you basically can't fight. You just have to run. And I'm not sure if this if this game has, like, any sort of combat. I guess, you know... We're going to find out here in a moment. Also, I'm probably going to break these episodes up into 20 minutes. Just to avoid any type of, you know, drift or technical difficulties. I, I worry that the sound isn't going to be synced up with my lips. So if you notice that happening early on in earlier episodes, just keep in mind it's, it's something I'm aware of and I'm working on to try to fix. Um, hopefully we don't have many problems with it though. Jody Foster, I'm telling you. Like, so, let's just think about it for a second. Did did they contact Jody Foster? Because nowhere on the game does it does it mention Jody Foster. So, like, is this a copyright infringement? Infringement? Remother? Did you use her likeness without her consent? I don't know. I really don't. I don't. I don't mean to call you. Out. I'm playing your game. I'm probably going to enjoy it, but uh, you got some. There's some explaining to do. On uh, on whoever made this is and all right, new game. It says continue. I, I've never, I've never. Oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. All right, brightness fifty percent. It's fine. Audio. It's fine. Mhm. Mm Ron R B. Interesting. Crouch. Flashlight. Interact and examine. Dodge. Inventory, diary, aim, hold the door. Oh, Christ, that sounds horrible. Aim, I guess that means I can shoot, maybe. But it didn't say right trigger did anything. Yes, it did. Throw diversion, I guess that's what I can do. Okay. Oh, do can we do so? I, I kind of like the subtitles. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Now, usually, you know, this isn't my first rodeo. I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, toot my own horn. But, you know, I, I've played, played a couple, couple horror games in my day. Um, it's probably going to start off with some cutscenes. You know, you find out about a missing girl. You go to the house. And the house is going to be abandoned. Probably. It's typically how it goes. Typically what happens. And I guess there's going to be murderers and psychopaths in the house, according to the synopsis, which, you know, we'll see how all this ties together. It's, you know, what did they say her name was? Rosemary Reed. That's not, that's not the girl's name from Silence of the Lambs. Oh, I need to continue. Whoops. So, is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Zombies. Every Zombies. Word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? 
The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. Lepidopterans? Is that the illness is what it is. Is that? But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Who is this guy? Is this Rosemary Reed? Is that Jodie Foster? Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Spinska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear oh. I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> Well, yes. You know four Mrs. But Svenskis? We are not made of that name. It is given to us. I doubt it. Choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely Smart. inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madam Svenska, it is. This dude knows four Madam Svenskas. Be okay. Why? She's Italian. Okay. Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised I what? to remember. Tell me. This doesn't Please make excuse sense. me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. What There's you... always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Jody Foster. Daryl Arts. Stormind Games. Excellent graphics. Graphics are incredible. So was that that was modern day and she's old now? What are we going back to? Like the sixties, seventies? Are we in Italy still? I don't know what's happening. I'm tempted to skip, but I want to really take in the cinematic experience here. So bear with, bear with me, bear with me. And keep in mind, you know, when I said 20 minute episodes, like I'll, I'll do, I'll record 20 minutes, end it, and then I'll do the next 20 minutes and they'll all go up, they'll go up together. I'm not going to, you know, beat the game in one session, but there's going to be at, going to be at least two, as, as few as two, as many as four 20 minute episodes going up at a time. Jody Foster. The Silence of the Lambs. Spiritual sequel. It's in Italian. Dude, it looks just like her. It's even the same hair from Silence of the Lambs. Like, this is... It's freaking me out, man. What type of van you install cable in? How does she have that van for? Alright, she's rifling cigarettes. She's gotta be stressed out about something here. Looking is she a detective? A cop? What is your occupation here? Why are you looking for the missing kid? Did I miss or is there a context clues on the file there? Did I miss that? I have an attempt of mind. We'll find out eventually. Find out eventually. That smoke was really dark. I don't... Oh, this is... It's horrible. This is horrible now. Whoa. Okay. Don't know what that was all about. Not a fan.
batteries in case we need them. All right, reach the resident for Dr. Felton. Ain't no thing. Dr. Felton it is. Okay, really slow. Oh, this is how I, oh wow, am I going to be this speed the entire game? It's not, it's not ideal. Newspaper? Nah. Does she have heels on? Are you kidding me? Come on, Jody. You knew better than that. Look for a missing kid. It's going to impair our movement. That's why I'm worried. Okay, missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Last seen 4 p.m. at the recreation ground. 71. 60s, 70s. Basically, I'm a genius. Um, I don't know. They got the got stuff dashed out for some reason. Maybe it's faded. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years old. Light blonde hair, blue eyes. At last. Something wearing a white dress. White dress with bows, white shoes, dressed hair. Also, light blonde hair, this hair is 100. This hair is definitely not light blonde. But it's also different than the picture that she had out of the car. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're thinking a little bit too much into this. Uh, I'm going this way. Big house, gate, boom, we're in. Never mind, we're not in. What are you breathing so loud for, Jody? What is that? Cut here, cut there, skiers. On screen, Octo oh, Halloween! And it takes place in October, which is perfect for our Let's Play Horror Game series. This is just, this is just too good to be true. Also, um, we're going to have to fact check if that's a real movie or not. Okay, clearly I went the wrong way. But we found out about skiers, which, you know, basically I wish I didn't. Okay. Come back this way. Where we at? 17 minutes. We'll get into the house. I'll cut it, and then we'll, we'll keep going. What do you got here? Mary, Mother Jesus. Yo, Jody, you're breathing really loud. Please stop. Okay. She can't be breathing like that in the house, or we're we're dead. We're toast. Yes, hello. Not I'm abandoned. Dr. Reed from the Santa what do you know? Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? So. Oh, here we go. Patient, Richard Felton, sex male, born February 16th, 1920. The patient complains of severe pain in the abdomen due to many diarrhea and vomiting discharges. He seeks emergency assistance and ambulance took him from home to undergo extensive clinical examinations. Suspected something. Um, X-ray. At first glance by direct ab 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 abdominal radiography, the patient reports evident hydro air levels in the abdominal cavity with abundant kidney, liver, and intestine abscess drainage where unusual formations are noticed parasites maybe question mark the affected areas are full blown to a common microorganism or organism damaged but unusually intact uh, what the fuck does that mean after removal of skin cysts there is evidence of proliferation of multiple parasites moths question mark characterized by unusual cellular activity suspected cause in the affected areas Significant increase of value in leukitis and inflammation in dices. Possible correlation with the suspected ulcerated parasite osis. Testosterone deficiencies and marked presence of estrogen. Unrelated to the disease, potentially. What the fuck? 
Uh, your, your analysis, your analysis, I think that's it, the word, shows traces of blood and follicles, like larvae, overdose of drugs, opiates, and surplus of unapproved psychodrugs, antidepressants without prescription, abuse of phenyl, 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 Okay, what's this? All right, last one. With this letter, we've written from you the urgency to undergo treatment with our specialists who are usually in charge of following patients affected by debilitating the disease like the one you have. It is understood that your refusal to undergo psychological therapy seems clear to us, and since we understand your choice, we encourage you to go through other in-depth analysis at our institute. Whether you were unable to communicate with us, we invite you to tell your wife, Ariana Gallo, which is your designated helper and beneficiary as well, to contact us. That's who I must have just spoken to. According to the diagnostic criteria provided by the Regional Health System or Institute, we are obliged to request you once again not to be absent on the designated dates for the next requested medical exams. And how is it related to her? Lay seen, lay seen. At recreation ground. There are street signs back there, but we're not going to go back. But, you know, I'm pretty good detective, I think. Maybe, um, whatever disease he has, maybe he needs, like, he's like a vampire, and he needs, like, youth, like, youth blood, maybe. That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe I got going here, okay. I shouldn't, I don't want to waste time, but, I mean, I'm going to put a light, a light over a bunch of plants and a shovel, I'm going to investigate, there's nothing here, typical, okay, whatever. <laughs> Breathing incredibly loud, Jody, you just got no quit. Alright, we'll, we'll let this kick to 25 introductory episode and all. No problem. Hello? Gables open. Are you there? Hello? This house is too big for two too old two old people. And it's locked. Okay. What do I gotta do? Walk around until I find the key now? This is gonna be brutal. I cannot do it now. All right, nope, nope, not but a thing. Nothing but a thing. There's gonna be another entrance I can get to. Now, do I have unlimited sprint? I guess the only downside of sprinting is she's just gonna breathe like a dog the whole time. Ah, oh, shows her mouth, so. Really out of breath. Here we go. I bet there's some people who like play this game like yeah like I'm just walking down wow she's really out of breath this is stamina you know is a key part in survival I think I'm not sure that she has it well, I hope so but no key eh alright what about this leer ladder anything what type of cage is that on a window? Is it an insane asylum? Is this Outlast? Spiritual successor? We'll see. I got the tinfoil hat on. I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Access to the house. Big moment here. And I can get Three times. What about the window there, you see? Ooh, someone was in there. All right, rifle and six again. Yes. Good evening, Miss I am. Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you- She's way younger than I you thought she was going to be. I, I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents, 
I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's, okay. it's not the wife figure. I suppose you want figure. to talk to him. Thank you. Okay. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to rifle cigs anymore. However, did you notice he hates the smell of smoke? Don't smoke inside. There's an ashtray with two cigarettes that have been smoked in it. Someone's lying. Gloria's a liar. Off the rip. Don't trust anybody in a horror game. No one. Nobody. Load times ain't too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Achievement. Alright. We're gonna... We're gonna cut the first episode there. We're in the house now. You know, shit's starting to get real. Um, you know, I, I hope this... I hope TPL Gaming, uh, you know, has an audience out there. I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, like I said, we're going to do the horror games for the month of October, but, but we can expand those horizons down the line. Um, you know, make sure you hop in the comments, you know, tweet at us on Twitter, TPL Culture. Let us know what you want to see, what you want us to play, um, and we'll do it. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Make sure you stick around. And, you know... We're going to be churning these out all month, so keep checking in with us. Until next time.